In my last video, I did some trim restore on my 2003 Saab 93. And today, I'm going to be doing a clay bar and wax on the car. There's just a quick look at how the trim restore came out. It worked really, really well. I'm actually filming this in the future um, because I already did the clay bar and wax on the car. So you guys are gonna see how that turned out. Yesterday, I actually did the headlights as well and the engine bay, you'll see that in a future video. So yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the footage of the clay bar and the wax. Yesterday. Also, as I'm doing the uh, quick detail on this car, I wanna point out something that I'm sure someone's gonna wonder about. You might be wondering what all of this stuff is splattered all over the hood. That is tar. That was on the car when I bought it. Um, it was also on the front bumper. It was also on this fender, which is why I had these two repainted. This fender was actually dented, so I actually got a, uh, a used fender, but there's tar on here. There's also a little bit even over here, but as you can see, that's a better angle of it. I mean, this paint is just gone right here. So I'm not, I'm not really gonna do a ton of work on body panels like the hood, this fender, and these two doors, just because I know that they're past the point of saving, really, to an extent. So we have, in this clay bar kit, we have this mother's instant detailer. We have two clay bars and we have a microfiber towel. So basically what we're gonna do, seems like a pretty simple process, is spray a small area of the car, lightly go over it with the clay. When we get some marks on the clay, we just need to knead it and move it around to get some clean clay and then basically wipe everything else off. So I'm not sure how long this is gonna take. I'm not sure how big of a difference it's gonna make. This is my first time doing this, so it's probably not gonna be perfect, but Let's get started. So we're just gonna get the clay, make it like a nice little pancake pretty much. We're gonna spray on there. We're just gonna wipe it, almost like you're like drying the car pretty much. And you're gonna feel it start to get smoother as it picks up that contaminant. I literally just watched the video tutorial on how to do this, so I can't possibly be doing it wrong. I'm now officially an expert in clay barring. Make sure you're checking it. That you're not getting a bunch of debris and then you're just rubbing that debris into your paint because obviously that's kind of counterintuitive. The hood is done. Of course, it doesn't really look any different, but it does feel a little bit smoother. Of course, with all this tar on here, it's not gonna be smooth no matter what, but in terms of being able to rub my hand over it like this, it's, it's a bit smoother. So now we're gonna just go around and do the rest of the car because, well, the whole car needs it and I don't wanna film the whole thing. So we just finished clay barring the whole car. I didn't show that whole process and I'm not sure how well it worked. I mean, we ended up with a fairly dirty clay bar. I purposely left it like this after we finished up the last of it. Uh, so it, it, it definitely picked up a good amount of dirt and debris. But after going over it with the clay bar, I don't think I really need to use this scratch X. I mean, the car doesn't have a ton of scratches in it necessarily. So I don't think the scratch hex is really gonna do anything. So I'm actually gonna skip that step. So we're just gonna go straight to the wax, which is going to be the final step of this video. But I have to say, so far this trim restore looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go inside, uh, cool off for a little bit, cause I am, as you can tell, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm dying right now. So I'm gonna go inside and we'll come back out, do the wax, and that'll be it for this video. So I'm actually gonna start the wax with the back of the car because it's gonna be in the sun here in like two minutes. So the Meguiar's Ultimate Liquid Wax is what I've used before on the Turbo X, worked very well. So we're just gonna do one body panel at a time with this applicator pad, let it sit for three to five minutes, and then wipe it off with a clean microfiber.
All right guys, so I've been out here about five hours doing this. The car is finally done. I realized when I did the Turbo X, I didn't pull it out in the sun and really show you guys what it looked like. So I apologize for that. I can't believe I forgot to do that. But here is the arc, at least. Uh, doesn't look great by any means, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, the body panels that have been repainted since I've owned it look pretty good, such as this fender right here. Front bumper came out pretty good. The hood came out better than I thought. Uh, it paint matches better now. It does have some more shine to it for sure. It doesn't look perfect by any means. Then when you come to this side, that fender, absolutely terrible. Um, it's hard to wax stuff. I realize it's very hard to wax stuff when the paint is this bad on it. Sorry for the wind noise. It's getting a little windy right now. I come around to the rest of the car. Looks pretty good. So here's just some more shots of the car. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Like I said, uh, headlight restoration is coming very soon on the car. So I think it looks better for now. It's by no means perfect. Like I said, it definitely needs paint on some panels. Uh, wind noise. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. I'm in a rush because I'm dying of the heat right now. I've been out here for five hours, like I said. So I'll see y'all next time with uh, some more content. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. I'm just, I'm just so, so done with this heat.